The Philippines islands are legendary as tourist attractions. The archipelago of over 7,600 islands is home to diverse wildlife, stunning nature, fascinating history, and a unique population. Here are the best things to do in the Philippines. Check out an active volcano. The Philippines is home to 25 active volcanoes, so naturally visiting one is a hot tourist activity. Taal Volcano's claim to fame is being the smallest active volcano in the world, but one of the best to visit. This stubby volcano has an elevation of only 400 meters and can be summited by a guided hike. If you've ever wanted to brag you've stood on the lip of a volcano crater, here's your chance. And be sure to take in the unique scenery. Taal Volcano rises out of a lake on an island, and inside the crater is another lake. You have to see it to believe it. Mayon Volcano is by far the most iconic in the Philippines and is a degree more magnificent. While hiking to its summit is possible, climbers need government permission first, and the toxic gases make it a challenging climb. But viewing it from a distance is one of the best things to do in the Philippines, as the soaring heights and smoking top of the volcano will make for some memorable photos. Be sure to find Kagasawa ruins as well, because the ruined 16th century church makes for some incredible photos with my own volcano in the background. Vigan The Philippines were for a long time a Spanish colony, and that Hispanic influence is clearly visible in the historic city of Vigan. This city offers a trip back in time to the country's colonial era, and the charming Spanish-style architecture houses plenty to do. The Calle Crisologo is a perfectly preserved cobble street flanked by ancient colonial houses and should be visited either by horse-drawn carriage or by a slow walk to browse the shops and appreciate the buildings. While in Vigan, be sure to partake of the local cuisine. Yocan empanadas are a Filipino variant of the well-known street food made with rice flour and filled with local flavors. The streets of Vigan are home to plenty of museums to past politicians, martyrs, and more Filipino history, and there are multiple plazas at the Vigan Cathedral to explore. Climb to the top of the Bante Church Bell Tower for the best views and refresh yourself in the waters of the Black Sand Mindoro Beach. Wildlife The Philippines is home to a staggering amount of animals found nowhere else in the world. From the majestic Philippines eagle to the elusive dugong, the biodiversity is high. Nearly everywhere you visit outside the cities will have opportunities to let you see animals in their habitat, so keep your eyes open while hiking, canoeing, and exploring. While the eagles and crocodiles may be impressive, no animal in the Philippines is cuter than the tarsier. The smallest of the primate family, these tennis ball-sized critters have been exploited by the international pet trade for decades. So if someone offers you a chance to hold one, say no. To see them in their natural environment, check out the Philippine Tarsier and Wildlife Sanctuary in Corella. Here, you'll be able to enjoy these creatures in their natural habitat. Before we tell you more about the best of the Philippines, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Chocolate Hills Scattered across the island of Bohol are the Chocolate Hills, a site that's baffled geologists and delighted tourists for generations. These limestone hills, the same rock that makes up the dramatic shoreline and the deep lagoons, have weathered into stubby and rounded shapes that stretch as far as the eye can see. Numbering in the thousands, the Chocolate Hills are all quite short, with the tallest barely higher than 90 feet. Visiting in the end of the dry season, roughly around May or June, will let you view the hills covered in dry, brown vegetation so you can see how they got their name. While climbing the Chocolate Hills is not allowed, visitors can climb to an official observation deck to soak in the strange and frankly otherworldly sight. Corregidor Island The Philippines witnessed some brutal battles during World War II, and Corregidor Island is an excellent place to explore the history of the conflict here and pay respects to the fallen. Accessible from Manila by ferry, Corregidor Island protected the entrance to Manila Bay from warships. Nowadays, ruins, memorials, and museums can be found here. Visitors can tour the ruined barracks, the defensive walls, and the artillery pits around the island. There are museums to Filipino actions during World War II, a memorial to the soldiers of the Pacific Theater, and a historic tunnel with a light and sound presentation as well. And they're all worth checking out. And when you've had your fill of wartime history, Check out the surrounding natural environment to go bird watching or monkey spotting. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park There are some attractions that are more than just tourist sites to visit and take photos at. The Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park is one such location. 
It's one of the new seven wonders of nature, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and one of the best things to do in the Philippines. The park features a 5.1-mile stretch of river that flows through a sprawling cave system. Visitors will board a small boat and float gently along the river past stalactites and stalagmites through vast limestone caverns and bat roosts. Outside the cave, the rest of the park features diverse mountain, forest, and marine biomes and has a massive diversity of bird life. Banaway Rice Terraces Cultivating rice in stepped terraces is an Asian agricultural technology with millennia of history, and the Philippines has one of the most scenic terraces of all. The Banayu rice terraces must be seen to be believed. The layered rice terraces rise up to an incredible 5,000 feet and offer some of the most picturesque views in the Philippines. They attract hikers and photographers alike, and exploring the trails and walkways of the terraces is sure to offer jaw-dropping view after view. Local guides can be hired to take you to the best spots, and vehicles can be found to get you around quicker. Manila The capital and second most populated city of the Philippines, Manila is a diverse and varied city sure to give you experiences you won't find anywhere else. Founded in 1571, the city has centuries of history, plenty of culture, and is exploding with stories to tell. A trip to Manila is not complete without exploring the walled city of Intramuros, the oldest part of Manila, which still has the fortified Spanish walls of the first colonists. There's old-world architecture and plenty of churches and museums to visit. Manila will be the best place to immerse yourself in Filipino cuisine. With plenty of markets, food tours, and street food vendors, you'll be spoiled for choice. Be sure to try the iconic chicken adobo or the sweet delight of Halo Halo. And if you want to try something off the typical tourist track, then seek out an Arnis school. The traditional fighting style of the Philippines is known as Kali or Eskrima and is a fast-paced and devastating martial art. Soak in the fighting spirit by trying it out at an authentic school. And finally, you can't visit Manila and miss a trip or tour by Jeepney, an iconic local vehicle. These brightly decorated U.S. Jeeps are part of the tourist experience and are a cheap and fun way to get around. Tabataha Reef National Marine Park the underwater world of the Philippines is a diver's paradise. While the environment and biodiversity above water is great, it hardly compares to what you'll see beneath the waves. As an archipelago, scuba and snorkeling opportunities are nearly everywhere, but the most legendary is Tabataha Reef. It's a spectacular and well-protected reef approximately 30 miles off the coast of Palawan, which can only be reached by a 10-12 to hour boat trip. Its inaccessibility to fin traffic and protected status mean that it's remarkably unspoiled, although its dive slots are usually booked up months or years in advance. Tabataha Reef has hundreds of species of tropical fish, half the coral species found in the world, rare turtles, bird life, a dozen dolphin and whale species, and a variety of sharks, including white tips and tigers. With the worldwide decline of other famous coral reefs, a place like Tabataha Reef shows just how spectacular and worth protecting these unique natural places are. Coron Palawan When most people picture the Philippines, its dramatic mountains rising from the sea, white sand beaches, and crystal clear waters come to mind. All that and more can be found on Coron Palawan, which has some of the best things to do in the Philippines. The biggest draw must be the diving opportunities. Numerous WW2 Japanese shipwrecks and downed planes can be found, making for excellent wreck diving opportunities. If you're not comfortable with a scuba tank, then the Lusong gunboat can actually be seen by snorkeling. The Rocky Limestone Foundation makes for some incredible lakes and lagoons, filling up slowly with crystal clear filtered water. Kayangan Lake is regarded as the clearest lake in Asia, and the water's so clean, scuba divers and snorkelers can see all the way to the bottom. Spend time exploring the waters, then climb to the nearby viewpoint for some amazing views. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in the Philippines? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.